Welcome to the John and Heidi Show podcast. John and Heidi. Here's John and Heidi. Today is a special day, Heidi. Do you know what today is? What is today, John? Uh, I thought you'd never ask, Heidi. It is Wednesday. It is October the 12th. It is National Farmers Day. Hats off to all of our farmers out there. Very, very important. National uh, Free Thought Day today. National Gumbo Day, which I didn't even know I liked until a few years ago. I do like gumbo. National Savings Day, which we should all be doing more of. Yes. National Vermont Day. I didn't even know I liked Vermont until a few years ago. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just being silly. Uh, National Bring Your Teddy Bear to Work or School Day. National Curves Day, which I celebrate every day. National Emergency Nurses Day. National Fossil Day. National Stop Bullying Day. And that is, why would you bully anybody? Just don't do that. I just don't get that. And kids, listen up. National Take Your Parents to Lunch Day. I like this day. I'll be sending a message to our children. (laughs) Um, I got a guest joining me today. Oh, I got a guest joining my guest as well. I got two guests today. I have Alexis Knapp from Pitch Perfect. I have Sarah Gray from the Power Rangers. Both of them on their own. Amazing. And together, they're in a new horror film. Heidi's going to love it. It's called The Accursed. We're going to chat all about that coming up. In good times and not so good times, it's a good idea to be responsible when it comes to spending. At BetterCreditCards.com, we're excited to see our friends like you get a better credit card to fit your needs. Some people like cards with the lowest possible interest rate. Others like cards with no annual fee. And some people like cards with points and perks to take advantage of all the extras available. Whatever you're looking for, we hope you find it at BetterCreditCards.com. Give yourself a little credit. Better creditcards.com Now, surveys and studies and such brought to you by bettercreditcards.com Voice assistants like Alexa and Siri can stunt a child's social and emotional development. I did not know that. Scientists at Cambridge say they can impede critical thinking, empathy, compassion, and learning skills. Does that sound weird? It, it doesn't surprise me a bit, though. They say uh, the use of voice assistants are like companions for lonely adults, uh, but when it comes to kids, it's actually hurting their normal human yeah. inter- interactions. They uh, are concerned that some kids might already have social development impair- impair- be impaired because of COVID and the restrictions, the lockdowns that they, they were grown up, they were raised at a time when they couldn't even leave the house. The study authors notes that gadgets can act as friends, boosting reading and communication skills. So there are some positives, but the human sounding voices have prompt concerns about possible long-term effects on your youngster's brain at a crucial time in their growth. Uh, Mm -hmm. The uh, three areas of concern include appropriate responses, impeding social development, and hindering learning. So interesting stuff. That is surveys and studies and such brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. How much do you pay for your wireless phone? Some people spend hundreds of dollars every month for their family. That's crazy. Mint Mobile offers premium wireless for just $15 a month. Not 50, 15, one five. Yeah, $15 a month for premium wireless. It's time for a mint intervention from Mint Mobile. You can keep your same phone number. You may even be able to keep your same phone. Find out now at mintervention.com. Learn more and sign up today at mintervention.com. Premium wireless for just $15 a month at mintervention.com. That's mintervention.com. Did you know? Brought to you by radiotravelgroup.com. Heidi, did you know two Aussies have started separate petitions to replace the picture of Queen Elizabeth uh, the second on the $5 note with the crocodile hunter Steve Irwin. Yeah, two different people. What? Their hopes, <laughs> yeah, their hopes <laughs> might just become a reality as the assistant treasury wow. minister recently revealed that King Charles III won't necessarily replace his mother on the $5 note, but not so fast. So far, the petitions, which are listed on the Australian Parliament House website, have gained collectively over 223 signatures, which is not a lot of signatures, really. No. But you never know. Steve Irwin on money? I don't know. I like Steve Irwin, but does he belong on money? I don't know. Just kind of... Be- no. This could have been my weird news, too, because this is kind of weird. You got to admit, even if you're a fan of the crocodile hunter, Steve Irwin, bless his soul, even if you're a huge fan, do you think that he belongs on money? I, I thought he was Australian. He is. This is from Australia. Two Aussies are oh. trying to get him on the $5 note in Australia. Oh, in Australia. Yeah. For some reason, I was thinking you said to it's replace Queen were, Elizabeth. That's who they were going to replace. You're Why not is listening. she on Australian I, money? Because, I don't know. Does that make any sense? Not to me, but it makes sense somewhere. <laughs> we don't know everything, clearly, but now we know this, kind of. Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show. Now, big screen, little screen, brought to you by ChannelSurferTV.com. Artifacts from the night Marilyn Monroe famously sang happy birthday to President Kennedy. I 
I've seen that clip. Are going to go up on auction October 13th. So when is that? That is, oh, that's this Thursday. Oh, my. There's a bunch of other stuff on here, too, if you want to see uh, all the details. I've got a link to that. Kim Kardashian agreed to pay $1.26 million fine to Security Exchange Commission to settle civil charges after touting crypto assets that she was also being paid for. So she was talking about it, but she didn't disclose that I'm getting paid for talking about it. Okay. So, and Margot Robbie and uh, Cara Delving were thrust into a dangerous situation in Argentina. I hope I said that young lady's last name right. Uh, one that left a paparazzi photographer going to police alleging assault. So there was Yikes. some sort of uh, stuff going on in Buenos Aires. I've got more details here if you want to read it. It's in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. In good times and not so good times, it's a good idea to be responsible when it comes to spending. At bettercreditcards.com, we're excited to see our friends like you get a better credit card to fit your needs. Some people like cards with the lowest possible interest rate. Others like cards with no annual fee. And some people like cards with points and perks to take advantage of all the extras available. Whatever you're looking for, we hope you find it at Better Credit cards.com give yourself a little credit better credit cards.com now your scoop of the day comes your way courtesy of radio travel group.com it's gone from a flavor to a whole season pumpkin spice season has now officially started it's actually i think it started the last tuesday in august that's when starbucks released their fall drink menu so now this is like a full-fledged phenomenon all over the place how so well, for example, 10 years ago, more people searched for candy corn than pumpkin spice every single fall. Now, pumpkin spice is more popular term worldwide by a wide margin. In the last year, Americans purchased more than $236 million in pumpkin spice flavored grocery items. Wow. A 24% increase over just one year before that. Uh, that does not even include Starbucks, by the way. What's more, it also doesn't include some of the unexpected products now available in pumpkin spice varieties like breakfast cereal and granola Ew. bars and hot chocolate and pet treats and baby food and pumpkin spice Ew. beer. Could you imagine no. giving your baby? <laughs> I don't know. I would think the kid would be like, what know. on earth? Pumpkin spice beer, pumpkin spice ramen. Pumpkin Spice Goldfish Crackers? What? Pumpkin Spice Spam? Not even kidding. And my, my personal favorite, <laughs> Pumpkin Spice Deodorant. Does it smell like pumpkin spice or are you supposed to eat this? Wow. By the way, the two most popular pumpkin spice items are what, Heidi? If you're going to guess. Coffee. Nope. Oh. No. Cookies and pumpkin spice pie filling. So well, the actual yeah, thing. The pie filling. Yeah. For the record, Amazon is not saying how many pumpkin spice products they sell, but a keyword when you just search on Amazon turned up more than 138,000 items Holy with cow. the word pumpkin spice. Yeah. I've got a link if you're looking. It's in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. How much do you pay for your wireless phone? Some people spend hundreds of dollars every month for their family. That's crazy. Mint Mobile offers premium wireless for just $15 a month. Not 50, 15, 1, 5. Yeah, $15 a month for premium wireless. It's time for a mint intervention from Mint Mobile. You can keep your same phone number. You may even be able to keep your same phone. Find out now at mintervention.com. Learn more and sign up today at mintervention.com. Premium wireless for just $15 a month at Mintervention.com. That's Mintervention.com. Thank you for listening to The John and Heidi Show. Just in time for Halloween, we got another scary movie we're going to talk about today. It's The Accursed, and I've got not one but two amazing actresses joining me. I have Alexis Knapp from Pitch Perfect, Sarah Gray from Power Rangers, and both of them, of course, from many, many, many other things. But let's start with Sarah. Sarah, how you doing today? I am fantastic. This I had a chance to watch the trailer, and it comes out this Friday. This looks pretty scary. It is, yeah. My mom watched the trailer, and she was like, oh, you didn't tell me how creepy this was. <laughs> and, and we've got, uh, also on the line, we've got Alexis. Uh, now, you, what is your role in the movie? Uh, the, the movie is called The Accursed. What is your part in this movie? I play Mary Lynn. Are you one of the good guys? Because, you know, I, I, think, I think everybody involved that I'm talking to here are, are, are the good guys, right? Well, we don't want any spoilers, right? Uh, my character is a little uh, to to be um, 
to be more mysterious, I suppose. So I, I won't say. Okay. Well, I guess we'll find out on Friday, won't we? So. <laughs> yes, you will. And, and Sarah, what is what is your role in the movie The Accursed? Yeah, so I play Ellie. She's our hero. Um, she's a very kind, compassionate person. She doesn't help people. She's a nurse. And this this movie, uh, I'm hoping, is not based on a true story, is it? Not that I know of. <laughs> yeah, not that I know of. <laughs> if, if it is, it's a scary one. Totally fiction. Now uh, uh, we'll, we'll go back with uh, with Alexis. When you had the opportunity to read the script and take a look at this, what was it that kind of drew you in that made you say, "Hey, I want to be a part of this film"? Um, I, you know, it was like uh, something that came with time, with, with meditation. Because upon reading it, I was just absolutely disgusted. <laughs> Um, and then I, I, you know, I calmed my, my nerves and my, uh, uh, my mind was trying to convince me of, of things that, uh, that I'm very happy did not succeed. Nice. How about you, Sarah? What was it that kind of drew you in to, to be a part of the accursed? Yeah, I got sent the script and, um, immediately I'm a fan of horror. So I was intrigued by that. And then I saw that Kevin Lewis would be directing and I had seen Lily's Wonderland. So I was already a fan of his work, and I thought it would be really cool to work with him. And then read the script, and you know, it was just really a rich script. It was dealing with real, honest, heavy topics, and you know, things that are really universal and everyone can relate to. So, yeah, I uh, I really wanted to see a shot at this. And talk about completely Ooh. different than what you guys have done in the past uh, with Alexa, Pitch Perfect, and Two and Three, and all of that world. I mean, this is a lot different than that, isn't it? Yes, it certainly is. Much, much different tone. And my character um, wasn't here to entertain anybody or, or be cute or silly or goofy or um, beautiful or anything, uh, which was a very grounding experience. Um, and, I, and I just hope to continue doing work like that and, and to keep raising the bar and realism. Absolutely. And Sarah, completely different than your days with Power Rangers and the other things. Have you done any other films that are even similar to The Accursed? One of my earlier, like, when I was young, I say the younger version of the lead in a horror film. I think it's called Who Grace the Vampire remake. Um, I basically just got covered in blood and screamed in that one. So <laughs> I didn't really... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so it was not it wasn't the 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 role that made your career is what you're saying no it definitely wasn't <laughs> well again this movie comes out on friday and again just in time for halloween this time of year we see a lot of scary movies that come out and i've seen several we've talked to several people who have scary movies coming out and the accursed to i'm going to be honest of all of the things that i've seen this looks the scariest to me and uh, again, the trailer is out right now if you want to see it, but you'll be able to see the film in theaters and uh, it's it's going to be released everywhere this Friday, the 14th. And uh, wouldn't it have been even better if it was Friday the 13th? That would have been just even cooler, wouldn't it? I didn't even think about that. Yeah. But it's, Isn't it the 13th? No, it's fr- <laughs> Friday the 14th. So yeah, we're close. This is uh, as yeah, close as we can get this year. Well, Alexis yeah. and Sarah, thank you Get guys so much for taking the time to chat with us about The Accursed. We appreciate it, guys. Thanks for having us. Thank you so much. Again, Alexis Knapp and Sarah Gray and their new horror film. It comes out this Friday. I've got a link with the trailer and then also where you can find it this Friday. All of that information in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. In good times and not so good times, it's a good idea to be responsible when it comes to spending. At BetterCreditCards.com, we're excited to see our friends like you get a better credit card to fit your needs. Some people like cards with the lowest possible interest rate. Others like cards with no annual fee. And some people like cards with points and perks to take advantage of all the extras available. Whatever you're looking for, we hope you find it at BetterCreditCards.com. Give yourself a little credit. BetterCreditCards.com. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? After the release of the 1996 film Scream, which involved an anonymous killer calling and murdering his victims, caller ID usage tripled in the United States. Hmm. Yeah, that's where people were like, you know what? I do want that caller ID after, right. after all. I think I'll get that. Sponsored by (laughs) AT&T. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Ant queens can live for up to 30 years. Really? Wow, so it's not just human queens that live a long time. That's good to know. I didn't know that. Fun (laughs) fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? The fastest reptile is the sea turtle. They can swim 35 miles per hour. 
which really? is kind of weird. That's crazy because yeah. they're so slow on well, land. Well, yeah, you wouldn't yeah. think of them as fast, but when they're in the water, boom, they can huh. go fast. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Only two diseases have been successfully eradicated, smallpox and rinderpest. Rinderpest. Rinderpest has been so eradicated. It's been so eradicated that we've never heard of it before. (laughs) And one final fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? On average, a horsepower, uh, a horse can produce about 15 horsepower. So horsepower is really more like 15 horsepower. Okay. If that makes any sense. Several fun facts. Now you know. Thanks for listening to The John and Heidi Show. How much do you pay for your wireless phone? Some people spend hundreds of dollars every month for their family. That's crazy! Mint Mobile offers premium wireless for just $15 a month. Not 50, 15, 1, 5. Yeah, $15 a month for premium wireless. It's time for a mint intervention from Mint Mobile. You can keep your same phone number. You may even be able to keep your same phone. Find out now at mintervention.com. Learn more and sign up today at mintervention.com. Premium wireless for just $15 a month at mintervention.com. That's mintervention.com. Time now for the Mint Mobile question of the day. Yay! It's brought to you by mintervention.com. Heidi, here's a question for you. 19%, only 19% of people would be willing to buy a used one of these. What is it? 19%. Toilet. No, a used hat. Oh. 19% would be willing really? to buy a used hat. Yeah. Hmm. You thought that would be a higher number than that? I think that seems... Would you buy a, a used hat? Yeah. Would Would you wash it before you wear it? No. <laughs> How are we married? <laughs> yeah. Mint Mobile question of the day comes your way, courtesy of Mintervention.com. In good times and not so good times, it's a good idea to be responsible when it comes to spending. At BetterCreditCards.com, we're excited to see our friends like you get a better credit card to fit your needs. Some people like cards with the lowest possible interest rate. Others like cards with no annual fee. And some people like cards with points and perks to take advantage of all the extras available. Whatever you're looking for, we hope you find it at BetterCreditCards.com. Give yourself a little credit. BetterCreditCards.com. Time now for some weird news brought to you by WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com. A British pub owner concerned that his country is running out of people named Nigel staged a (laughs) festival for men with the name (laughs) Nigel. And they showed up from all over the world. Nigel Smith held Nigefest, gathering hundreds of Nigels together for a pint. Entertainment was provided by musicians called Nigel and attendees (laughs) who were required to be there with their photo ID signed the Book of Nigel. Okay, wow. it's a place called the Fleece Inn in England. Nigel Smith came up with the idea after being uh, after the name officially became extinct, according to birth records. 2016 and 2020, they didn't have anybody named Nigel, apparently. Hmm. Annual event set the world record for the largest gathering of Nigels, uh, 432 in, in 2019. This year's Nigel Fest turned up 372 Nigels Nige for an e- evening of Nigel-themed refreshments. <laughs> <laughs> that is such so a bizarre. bizarre. It is very bizarre. Some weird news brought to you by WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com. John and Heidi. Time now for the list brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. Inflation has been making things difficult for many, but it's not the first time people have had to get creative. A Twitter user has uh, asked for extraordinary methods that parents and grandparents used. And uh, here's one. It says, we use plain bread as hot dog buns. Mm-hmm. And for dessert, margarine and cinnamon on bread. So I've used hot dog bun mm-hmm. uh, that were made out of bread and, and hamburger buns that were made out of and bread. And my grandparents used to do um, saltine crackers with yeah. frosting on them. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I still do that today, actually. Yeah. Pork and bean sandwiches, also on the list, it says we knew exactly how many days it took for a check to clear every grocery store around. <laughs> They're saying when they were growing up, oh, I yeah. could write a check and I would know I have this many days for this check to right. get. Uh, filling empty shampoo bottles with a little bit of water and giving a good shake. I've done that. I've done that. Putting water in cereal. I've never done that. No, uh, when I went I've to other houses that. and they had paper towels, I thought they must be rich. Wearing Aww. bread bags on my socks because my shoes had holes in them. Uh, mustard sandwiches at lunch. My brother's favorite uh, breakfast was bread torment, torn up into pieces with milk and sugar on it. We called it kitty soup. Bacon, lettuce, tomatoes, BLT sandwiches with no bacon. And it says they got cassette tapes with songs recorded off the radio as Christmas presents. And I was thrilled oh. to have it. 
So there is the list. How brought cute to you. is that, though? Yeah. That takes a lot of time it and does. effort because I used to do that. Oh, yeah. So it's the list brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. In good times and not so good times, it's a good idea to be responsible when it comes to spending. At BetterCreditCards.com, we're excited to see our friends like you get a better credit card to fit your needs. Some people like cards with the lowest possible interest rate. Others like cards with no annual fee. And some people like cards with points and perks to take advantage of all the extras available. Whatever you're looking for, we hope you find it at BetterCreditCards.com. Give yourself a little credit. BetterCreditCards.com. Time now for the quote of the day. It comes your way, courtesy of InsuranceChicken.com. Our quote today is from George Bernard Shaw, and his quote is, He knows nothing. He thinks he knows everything. That clearly points to a political career. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people can benefit from oh, that, from is so that funny. sort of thing. <laughs> All right, that is your quote of the day. It comes your way courtesy of insurancechicken.com. Thank you for listening to the John and Heidi Show on a Wednesday. John and Heidi. This portion of the John and Heidi Show is brought to you by the John and Heidi Show. That sounds kind of funny, but it's true. Go to your local radio station and ask them to start carrying the John and Heidi Show. Here's the best part. They can carry the show for free. They play a couple commercials, but it doesn't cost them anything every month. So if you know a radio station that could use a little bit of help, send them our way. Send them to johnandheidyshow.com. Again, johnandheidyshow.com. We would love to do a radio program in your community. Then you could listen to the podcast and listen to us on the radio. John and Heidi. We always like to wrap things up around here with good news, and I think this is good news. It comes your way courtesy of radiotravelgroup.com. Heidi, take a listen to this story. Here's a headline. Special needs player makes final tackle in high school football game. Okay. Isn't that cool? It was a special moment under the Friday Night Lights for two Texas high schools. Lubbock High Westerners and Andrews Mustangs ended up in a football game with a moment for both teams to never forget, allowing a senior with special needs to get the final tackle. However, the play would have never happened if it was not initi- initiated by the opposing coach. Oh. Evan Sparks has played football for a couple years now, mostly on the junior varsity team. He hasn't had the chance to make a big play in a Mustangs varsity game yet until last Friday. And I think this might be from two weeks ago. Uh, the Mustangs were up 64-14 to 14 over Lubbock High. With only seconds left on the scoreboard, the student section thought it would be the perfect moment to let Sparks shine, yelling, we want Sparky, we want Sparky. Oh. And that's when Lubbock High head football coach Juan Rodriguez heard what was happening and he knew this was the perfect opportunity for a teaching moment. Mm-hmm. He said, there are things outside of football. Sometimes these are things that are a lot more important that we need to focus on. Andrew's head coach, Tom Harvey, says the next thing he knew, Rodriguez was calling a timeout. He calls the officials over and he sends the official over to us saying, you could put in number 34 and we won't touch him. Harvey sent Sparks onto the field and the magic happened. Sparks has one lung, severe scoliosis, neuropathy, and gets oh, his nutrition wow. through a feeding tube. He waited for years for his doctor's approval to even play football. His mom said the moment was a dream come true. The coach said it was a joy to be a part of it. It wasn't me. Like I said, it was a God thing. And it started with Coach Rodriguez on the other sideline, actually. Isn't that amazing? Mm -hmm. I think it's really, really cool. I've got a link to the story. There's video. There's photos. There's all kinds of stuff that make you get all choked up as well. You can find that in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. Time to say goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, everybody. Have a great day. Thank you for listening to the John and Heidi Show on a Wednesday.